Hi friends, if you like my videos, subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon for the latest updates. So in this video, let us discuss about fermentation process in detail and we will also discuss about the nutrient medium and also the process how the fermentation will be done and about the nutrient medium which is mainly required for this fermentation. Fermentation is a process or a metabolic process which converts primary metabolites into secondary metabolites. So the primary metabolites will get converted into the secondary metabolites by performing this fermentation process. So this is only the main aim of the fermentation. So what is the main aim of the fermentation? The conversion of primary metabolites into secondary metabolites. So the primary metabolites may include sugars. Sugars are nothing but the carbohydrates, right? So that sugars uh, which are in the form of carbohydrates will get converted into acids, gases and even alcohols. So here acids include includes uh, you know like citric acid glutamic acid and like all type of organic acids includes uh, this acid section whereas this gas is nothing but methane gas which is mainly used for household purposes and alcohols like beer and wine so these are the type of secondary metabolites which are mainly obtained from the sugars right and this fermentation process is mainly used for the production of alcohols wine amino acids biofuels biogas etc so each of their each of them has their different role which plays a major role for our human resources so now here i have said you that the sugars will get converted into acids gases and alcohols that's nothing but where the primary metabolites will get converted into the secondary metabolites and for this conversion the nutrient medium is highly required for the process of this fermentation so what is this nutrient medium nutrient medium is nothing but which mainly helps in the development of the bacteria and here in the case of sugars we can also add bacteria also so for example if you take lactic acid this lactic acid is produced by the lactic acid bacteria so here the primary metabolites will be lactic acid bacteria which mainly produces lactic acid as a secondary metabolite and for that conversion nutrient medium is required not only for that conversion of lactic acid uh, for any type of conversions either it may be acids gases or alcohols nutrient medium is highly required and this nutrient medium includes water, carbohydrates, oils and fats, growth factors, buffers and oxygen. So let us discuss about each of them in detail later. So firstly let us complete about this fermentation process. And the material which are mainly present in the fermenter which is mainly used for the process of the fermentation are temperature controller. So temperature controller is nothing but which is, ma which is mainly used to control the temperature for different type of, uh, for different type of production of secondary metabolites different temperature is required so the temperature can be controlled by the temperature controller right and coming to the next one second one electricity electricity is also required but don't forget to remember that the generator should be connected to the main main board because if the electricity power will cut then uh, then the then the formation of the secondary metabolites doesn't occur properly so the generator should be connected to the main board and next third one adequate aeration adequate aeration and agitation adequate aeration is nothing but proper supply of the oxygen the oxygen should be supplied to the, uh, to, the to the fermentation tank such that it can convert the primary metabolites can converted into secondary metabolites properly so without supply of oxygen then there will be no conversion of primary metabolites into secondary metabolites such that the products cannot be obtained that means that the fermentation process doesn't occur if the oxygen is not supplied properly so there will be an inlet uh, in the fermentation tank and through that inlet we are going to supply the oxygen and the diagram of the fermentation tank uh, ferment fermentation tank will be explained to you and next fourth one ph controller the ph is also be controlled externally we can control the ph and even internally also we can con we can control this ph so how will let us see enough and fifth one is neutral medium i have said you that neutral medium plays a major and vital role in this fermentation where it mainly helps in the conversion of these sugars into alcohols acids and gases so now let us discuss about the detail uh, about detail information on this nutrient medium on each of them so now let us discuss about the nutrient media which is mainly used for the process of fermentation coming to the first one water water acts as a major component of the nutrient media which plays a major and vital role in the fermentation process and this water is mainly used for uh, vaporization process and these vapors mainly helps uh, mainly helps the conversion of this primary metabolites into secondary metabolites and cleaning the fermentation tank this water is mainly used to clean the fermentation tank so why it should be cleaned because to uh, to prevent the contamination of the bacteria for example if you are providing any type of bacteria like aspergillus niger or else lactic acid bacteria those bacteria cannot get contaminated once the cleaning of that fermentation tank will be done another one is rinsing so these are the main purposes of the water such that the water plays a major major and vital role of the in the nutrient media for the fermentation process 
Coming to the second one, what I have said you carbohydrates. So this carbohydrates includes maize, cassava, cereals, potatoes, malt, that's nothing but the barley. And here we can also take this carbohydrates in the form of sucrose from the sugar cane as well as the sugar beet. So all of this will be taken in the juice form or else in the powders form, nothing will happen. And these carbohydrates are nothing but the glucose, right? We are going to take these nutrients in the form of glucose. And coming to the third one, oils and fats. And these oils and fats act as anti-foaming agents, such that once the fermentation process is going on, such that the foam doesn't occur, only when there is a presence of oils and fats in this nutrient medium. These oils and fats doesn't develop the foam inside the fermentation tank. Hence, these are called as anti-foaming agents. Right? These are called as anti-foaming agents. And these oils and fats include vegetable oils like olive oil, maize oil, cottonseed oil, soya bean oil, etc. So all of these are the carbon sources. And even nitrogen sources can also be taken like ammonia gas, ammonium salts, nitrates, proteins, urea. So these are the nitrogen sources. So carbon sources as well as the nitrogen sources includes in these oils and fats. And these carbohydrates and oils and fats uh, will, be, comes, will comes under the classification of energy sources and now coming to the fourth one growth factors so growth factors are mainly used for the development of a bacteria so i have said you in the in the place of the primary metabolites we are going to take the bacteria for the production of a particular type of organic acids right so the development of the bacteria should be done such that uh, such that the number of the bacteria will get increased so this growth factors includes vitamins amino acids fatty acids tyrosol and biotin and now coming to the fifth one buffers and here these buffers are mainly used to control the pH value and I have said you in the I have said you in the materials of this fermentation fermentation what I have said you in the fourth one the, there is a presence of the pH controller which can be control pH externally in the internally the nutrient medium which we are going to add in the form of a buffer this will also control the pH value and what are the buffers which you are going to take in this nutrient medium are calcium carbonate phosphates sodium hydroxide sulfuric acid H2SO4. So these are the buffers which are going to take in the form of a nutrient media to undergo the process of fermentation. And now coming to the sixth one oxygen. So oxygen plays a major and vital role in this uh, fermentation and here once the oxygen is not supplied then the fermentation process will not be done. How? Let us see now. This, firstly why, uh, why this oxygen is used? This oxygen is used for the fast metabolism of the uh, for, for the fast metabolism to obtain the product. And once the oxygen content will get decreased or else if you if you inject low amount of oxygen if you through, through the inlet then high oxygen demand will occur inside the fermentation tank which is shortly uh, said as HOD and once this high oxygen demand will be done then the fermentation process will not be done. So in this way the oxygen plays a major and vital role in this fermentation process. So now let us see the steps of the fermentation. So now let us see the steps which are included in this fermentation. So how the fermentation process will be done. So firstly what you are going to do is that you are going to select a particular type of microorganism strains. For example if you want to produce lactic acid you can take lactic acid bacteria right and if you want to produce citric acid you can take aspergillus nigger. So in this way you are going to take this particular bacteria which produces particular type of organic acids. So you are going to select a particular strains of the organism and you are going to inoculate them in the fermentation tank. And now what you are going to do is that firstly the fermentation tank should be cleaned and this fermentation tank is called as fermenter and it is also called as bioreactor. Don't get confused. And now what you are going to do is that you are going to clean the fermentation tank with the water. I have said you that the water plays a major and vital role to prevent the contamination of the microorganisms which are going to insert in this fermentation tank. So you are going to wash it and after washing then you are going to uh, you are going to add these microorganisms into this fermentation tank or as a bioreactor tank and then along with these microorganisms you are also going to add the nutrient medium right as I have said the nutrient medium includes water carbohydrates lipids and fats growth factors buffers and oxygen this oxygen plays a major and vital role don't forget to supply the oxygen and this oxygen will be supplied through oxygen inlet there is an oxygen inlet so if you see the diagram then you can understand so this will be the diagram of a bioreactor tank or as a fermentation tank. So if you see here this is the agitation system. Agitation system is nothing but it, it consists of a motor and inside it consists of a blades. So these blades plays a major and vital role to convert primary metabolites into the secondary metabolites. And that primary metabolites will be, will be inserted into this fermentation tank by this pipe.
this is called as feeding pump and through this feeding pump you are going to add the primary metabolites and even you are going to add the nutrient medium here the medium box is present right so slowly this medium will be introduced into this into this fermentation tank along with this primary metabolites of your interest and now what you are going to do this is the oxygen inlet i have said you right oxygen plays a major and vital role right so from here oxygen will be introduced into this fermentation tank and uh, here it now this tank consists of nutrient medium along with the primary metabolites and now we are going to switch on this fermentation tank such that the flat blades which are present inside this tank starts rotating because of this motor which is present in the agitation system and now you are going to control the temperature and along with the temperature you are also going to control the ph and now you are going to rotate this flat blades uh, with the with the by using this electricity and then after a particular period of time the primary metabolites will get converted into the secondary metabolites so now that secondary metabolites will get produced out through this outlet and now we are going to switch on the tap and once the tap will get switched on and then this uh, all of the secondary metabolites which has been produced will come out through this outlet and now this outlet uh, you know you are going to take all of the secondary metabolites from this outlet and you are going to purify them and you are going to filtrate them and once you filter it and purify then the pure form of the secondary metabolite will be obtained so this is will this will be the about the diagram of the bioreactor tank so after the fermentation process what will happen the product will be obtained that which is unpure in form right through the outlet of the fermenter the product will be obtained which is unpure in form and the, during the process of the fermentation you are also going to add the substrates or supplements and maximum the substrates and supplements will be added for the production of the alcohols okay and you are going to obtain the product which is unpure in form so to make this product to get pure form you are going to perform filtration as well as the purification process and once you perform this filtration and purification then the final product will be obtained which is pure in form and then they will be stored and preserved and it will be packed in the bottles and will be supplied in the markets and this markets will supply this all of these bottles to the public so now this is about the steps which are included in the fermentation so if you like this video you can subscribe my channel and if you like my explanation you can subscribe my channel and like this video you can share this video to your friends and if you have any doubts regarding this video you can comment in the comment box thank you